Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the video session of Cantor Publisher. Today we will be going to start the chapter number one of English grade four. So students, you should have in your hands the English textbook four of Cambridge Scholar series along with the summer pack of class four. In addition to that, we have uploaded the resource packs for English four on our website for the guidance of principals and teachers in which there is a detailed information that how you could be able to teach our textbooks. So welcome to the third lecture of the chapter number one of class four. As you people know that we have already divided our first chapter into four lectures and we have delivered the lecture number first that is on grammar portion that in which we have studied the order of adjective. Then we have conducted the lecture number two and we have practiced the order of adjective. And now today we will be reading the chapter number one. So you have to open your books and the unit one is the power. The theme of the chapter is ethics and values and its sub theme is truthfulness so we will be studying the truthfulness in the chapter title the power so our students learning outcomes that has been named as slos are learn the meaning of the power of truthfulness to know the benefits of being a truthful person and to differentiate between positive and negative values. So these three SLOs we are going to study in this chapter. You have to open your book and the page number three. So we have the pre-reading strategies. What? Pre-reading strategy before going to study the details of the chapter you should have the knowledge in your brain that why truthfulness is important so the first question is do you always speak the truth so you have to answer me students kya aap log hamesha sach bolte hain hmm come on give me the answer Yes, you people always speak the truth because good people always speak the truth. So, name only three persons you know who speak the truth. So, you have to write it down. Aapke paas ek page hona chahiye. Aapke paas ek pen ya pencil hona chahiye. Or aap likhe ke aap kin teen bando ko jante hain jo kya karte hain sach bolte hain. Those who speak the truth always and you have to tell any two benefits of speaking the truth. Such bolne ke kya fayde hain? So you have to tell us what? Two benefits. So this you have to write it down on a piece of paper. So before going to start the chapter, your brainstorming is these three statements the first one is do you always speak the truth the second one is name three persons you know from your family from your friends from your surroundings from your neighbors those who speak the truth always and you have to tell us the two benefits of speaking the truth now coming towards our chapter so the page number three of the Book 4, chapter number 1. Islam is a complete code of life. Islam is a complete code of life. It includes every aspect of the life from early waking up in the morning till going to bed. We have worked out all the things that we do in our life is present in Islam. So, 
the teachings of islam are based upon what some golden principles so its teachings are based on what golden principles and what are their golden principles that are key to a very happy and peaceful life so islam's teachings are based on some of the golden principle which leads to what a very happy and peaceful life so truthfulness is the basic characteristic of a true muslim so in that teachings truthfulness is one of the basic characteristic is one of the basic characteristic that is of a true muslim so if you want to become a true muslim you should be what you should be truthful what does it mean by truthfulness hmm not to tell a lie truthfulness means that you have not to tell a lie now you have to turn your page on the next page it is continued our nabi hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam always reflected this great quality so our holy prophet that is hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam who is what who is the last messenger of allah so our beloved holy prophet always reflected this great quality of what of truthfulness hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam is a great symbol of truthfulness which is one of the reasons for his popularity even before the spread of islam so before the spread of islam the truthfulness is one of the popular symbol of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so before the spread of islam hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was very popular in his tribe in arab by what by the symbol of truthfulness so allah almighty also stated in the quran many times about truthfulness so allah has also told us about truthfulness in quran and surah toba o you who believe be careful of your duty to allah and be with the true ones so allah almighty gives us direction that you have to be with the what with the true ones always be at the side of which people of the true ones who follow truthfulness so for a truthful person there are many rewards which he can get in this world truthfulness is the backbone of any peaceful and honest society so if a society has to become what to become peaceful and honest so truthfulness is what the basic requirement if anyone wants that there should be peace and there should be honesty so truthfulness should be followed if all muslims try to adopt this basic value their success will be certain so if any of the person adopt truthfulness he will what he will be successful in life so if all muslims try that so all muslims will be successful in this world and will lead the world in a society where evils like cheating fraud lies theft and other sins might prevail truthfulness is the only solution for them 
what does it mean that if any society has that bad things which is what which is cheating fraud lies theft that is stealing and other sins so truthfulness is the only solution for them so if a society has to be peaceful number one on honest number two and freed from what from cheating fraud lies etc what should be done truthfulness should be adopted now in the next paragraph there is a story once a man came to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and said o messenger of allah i have many bad habits which one of them should i give up first so here what a person came to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and asked him that i have many what bad habits so messenger of allah please give me the solution what should i hmm gave up first so hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam replied now listen carefully the reply of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam give up telling lies first and always speak the truth so the solution that has been given by our holy prophet is what that give up telling lies stop telling lies do not tell lie do not tell a lie first and always speak the truth so the solution that has been given by the holy prophet is to stop telling lies and always speak the truth the man promised to do so and went back home now at night what happened the man was about to set out for theft he was going for stealing something but before going out for the purpose he thought for a moment about his promise with hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam if later the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam asks me where have i been what shall i say shall i say that i went out for stealing no i shall not say that and i cannot tell a lie either if i tell the truth everyone will start hating me and call me a thief i shall be punished for stealing so but before going to stealing something he was talking to himself that what that i have made a promise with hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam that i will not speak a lie but if hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam ask me the next day that where have you been in the night where have you been at night so i cannot have the authority to tell him a lie that i was not stealing and if i tell him a lie that i was stealing so all the people will call me what a thief that is a bad thing and they will start hating so students everyone in our society when he was caught in what stealing something we call him a thief and all the people start hating him so therefore the man decided not to steal anything that night and gave up this bad habit so what happened that when hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam gave him the suggestion the order not to tell a lie and speak the truth so he decided not to steal anything next day he felt that he should drink alcohol when he was about to do so 
he said to himself what shall i say to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wale wasallam if he ask me what i did during the day so again when we when he was going to drink alcohol the same conversation was happened with himself and he talked to himself that what should i tell to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he asked me what you are doing the day so i cannot tell a lie and if i speak the truth people will condemn me because a muslim would never drink alcohol so here what happened by truthfulness two evils have been vanished number 1 is theft and number 2 is drinking alcohol that is forbidden in islam so truthfulness kills two evils straight away therefore he gave up the idea of drinking alcohol in this way whenever the man thought of doing something bad he remembered his promise one by one he gave up all his bad habits and become a good muslim and a very noble person so students what you have perceived till in our chapter that what happened that truthfulness is a very majestic power that kills all the evil habits of a person so students here is your homework from the summer pack you have to read this paragraph and you have to answer these question so for a truthful person there are many rewards which he can get in this world truthfulness is the backbone of any peaceful and honest society if all muslims try to adopt this basic value their success will be certain in a society where evils like cheating fraud lies theft and other sins might prevail truthfulness is the only solution to stop them here is a paragraph that you have already studied today and these are the question the first question is what can a truthful person get in this world already discussed what is the backbone of a peaceful and honest society a very easy answer from the paragraph how will the success of the muslims be certain the fourth one is what is the theme of the paragraph and the fifth one is what evils have been mentioned in the paragraph so you have straight away the answers in the above paragraph and here it is the end of today's lecture thank you so much for today we'll meet you in the next class allah hafiz